Hi, I'm Vaughan from Honeywell Technical Support. I want to take you through using the T6 range of thermostats on open thermal control of combi boilers. So first of all, let's look at the wiring. Here is the base plate of the relay electronics module. First of all, require permanent live and neutral connection here as marked. And then here we have the two open therm terminal connections as marked. This is a two core cable wired directly back to the open therm terminal connections on the boiler. Consult your boiler manufacturer's instructions to identify the correct terminals to use on your particular boiler. Note that when using the T6 in open therm mode, the normal switch live or switched connections become disabled. So they are no longer usable once you make the connection to the open therm terminals. So that's the wiring on the base plate. We'll replace the relay box electronics module like so and secure the retaining screw like so. We notice here that the green wireless LED has illuminated and is on solid so that indicates that we have a good connection with the thermostat itself. Occasionally you might see the LED flashing green for a little while. Uh, it means it will take a, a few moments to re-establish contact with the room thermostat. But eventually it should then go solid green. So let's put that aside for the moment. We've recently introduced a new level of firmware to provide domestic hot water temperature control in combis on open therm mode. So in order to do that we need to confirm the level of firmware on your particular device. So to do that, we need to go into the device itself. So first of all, we'll wake it up from the idle screen by touching the screen. If we now press the menu button at the bottom and then scroll forward until we get to the device info screen, press the tick, scroll forward again until we get to firmware. And here we'll see the installed firmware level of the device on this particular 1030908000, which is the correct level of firmware required for domestic hot water control of combis in open therm mode. So this device is good to go. If your particular device doesn't have the correct level of firmware, then please contact Honeywell Technical Support, who will be able to assist you in getting the device to the correct level. So we'll come back out of that now. So the next thing we'll do is we'll look at some of the open therm data and features that you can enable on the device. So here we need to go into the advanced menu. So we'll press and hold the menu button at the bottom here until we go into the advanced menu. If we scroll forward, first of all, we'll just check the system type, which should be heat only in this case, because we have only got a single channel relay box because we're obviously using this with a combi so that's correct. If we now scroll forward to the next option, which is the open therm. Here we can see various aspects of the open therm control. So first of all, it shows us that low load control is enabled, which is generally recommended. So we'll leave that as, as it is. We have various other data readouts from the boiler itself. So the flow and return temperatures, for example, here we would have the instantaneous temperature readout should the hot water being drawn off at the time. But of course, as it's not, there'll be no readout there. And then the next option here is the actual hot water set point. So we're currently set for temperature of 50 degrees. Now, if we want to change that, we can do that. So we come out of that menu, we go back to the advanced main menu, scroll forward till we get to hot water set point press the tick, we can now change that set point, so maybe we want to make that 55 degrees, press the tick, that will now save that reading, if we now come out of that, go back into the advanced menu, scroll forward to the open therm, scroll forward to the hot water set point, and we now have 55 degrees, which is what we set. 
Another option that you can set on the hot water side is under the hot water overnight menu, which disables the hot water preheat should you require overnight. So here is literally on or off. So if you wish to switch that mode off or on, you select that here. So we'll leave that off in this case. Saving that menu. And there we have the settings and open therm readout. Quickly show you the open therm operation on the heating side. So at the moment we have a room temperature of 25 degrees and a set point of 22. So let's create a demand for some heat. So we'll increase the set point temperature to 29 degrees. We look on the heat demand LED has now illuminated. Notice there is no clicking of the internal relays because they have been disabled as noted before when you're using this in open therm mode. So the request has been sent to the relay box, which is now communicating with a boiler via the open therm bus. And when the boiler is responding and producing the required output, we should see the flame symbol displayed on the screen here. It can take a, a moment or two to do that while the necessary communications are occurring on the open therm side. So don't necessarily expect it to come on instantly. But in a moment we should see that come on and that will confirm that we have the boiler producing the output. And here we see that the flame symbol has now appeared and we are now producing the required flow temperature on the heating as determined by the thermostat. If we now turn that demand off, so we'll reduce the set point like so. So we then see the flame symbol disappear and the heat demand symbol disappear on the relay box. And there's a summary of the open therm operation on the T6 thermostats.